we have our Woman of the Week in studio, our wow this week, Penelope Spencer. Good morning and thank you so much for joining us. That is writer, director, teacher, producer, casting agent, Penelope Spencer. Good morning. Good morning, morning. Michelle. Thank you for having me as your wow for the week, woman of the week. Thanks. I'm going to take the year, but I, I, I wanted to give you the decade. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's all about celebrating of all course, women, one woman at a time. Yes, and of I want to thank you for joining us in studio. Yes. I know you describe yourself as a spiritual being who mm -hmm. loves life and living. Yes. So that being the case, I always think that creativity mm -hmm. somehow links us to our yeah. creator. Yeah. So how would you describe your creative process mm -hmm. and how has your work shaped your outlook? Right. Well, I always say jobs is fill your pocket. Right, I heard so to say in, um, recently, jobs fill your pocket and adventure fills your soul mm. and your life, you know. So I think what, I, and I'm glad, what, I'm happy that what I do is not work, it's called play. Yes. You know, it's play <laughs> and, and, and where we have an adventure and we have fun and, and um, that shapes who I am, you know, that makes me smile. I love, um, I love life and I love creating characters and creating stories and and creating situations you know and creating thespians actors and and you know and and i i'm glad that god blessed me with that kind of talent that i could um shape some lives you know right so that is important for me for my process the, that god is at my right hand i am at his right hand um and i and he is helping me and we working hand in hand to to make life as best as we could you know because my whole thing is love and give love and try and teach and educate and, and, and inspire and motivate, you know, people. You know, I yeah. want, I always tell my um, students, I want them to be better than me. Yes. And I always tell them, I surely all your parents want you to be better than them. And that's what we're supposed to be able to do to help and motivate and push. You know, so, yeah. And it's amazing. I always mm. see you doing that. You know, yeah. anytime I walk into Newtown Girls yeah. School, I don't know what it is, but every mm. time I have an appointment there, I always yeah. see you teaching. Mm. And I always see you giving back in mm. so many mm. ways. Mm -hmm. You know, if yeah. someone has mm. something, you are one of the first to support, to be there. Of course. And why is it so important for you to give back? Yeah. Because, I mean, my life wasn't the easiest life, you know. I um I went through a lot of, traumas and a lot of um misadventures you know right. and um it's important and i didn't sometimes have somebody there saying no girl you know she go there no girl right. make that another choice now no girl um um these are your choices you have choices you know and it's important for me to let the children know that they have somebody that they could come to right. know that they have choices to make they know know that is not one don't see life through a tunnel you know so it's important that they um somebody there to tell them that because sometimes was somebody wasn't always there for me you know right. and i know sometimes parents are busy and um you know uh, um your guardians are busy doing things and sometimes that's what our jobs are you know it would have been enough for me to go and just teach creative writing and talk book 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 but i am a social being i'm a and I always have to impart that knowledge to make, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Book, 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 yeah, book, book. book. You book, have book, a book, book that is out now. Yes. It's called Into the Forest. Tales from the Forest. Tales from the Forest. Yes, yes. You know, yes. I had the opportunity to read it and I was blown away mm -hmm. by how well produced it was. The right. CD, yes. you know, the book. I felt right. so great buying that. Yeah. It was truly value for money. Yes. It is. It's, um, it's at um, yeah, um, um, Nigel Khan Bookstore. The, the, um, Ask us to write. Uh, ask um, Lila Posada, who's also a co-author in the book, right. on the book with me, and they wanted stories about folklore characters. Another thing, our children don't know the folklore characters. Yes. You know, they, um, they hardly even know the carnival characters. They know there were. That's another storybook, but um, it was important for me that children learn about the Papa Boa and the the Laja Bless and the you know on the 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 uh, Mama Glow. And even if I say, of oh, course, sometimes parents can't read. You know, they're too busy. You just put on the CD and you could hear. You're yes. always trying to make things help people that they could they could hear and they could see whatever way you try creative ways to do it. You know, right? So it's mm. something that the child can also so, use. You're yes. hearing it and you're seeing the yes, words yes, as well. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Put so, on the CD and, uh, and Christmas night, I'll have nothing to do on a CD and listen to my Tales story. from the Forest. Tales from the Forest, Nigel <laughs> Khan, yes, yes. That being mm -hmm. the case, well, drama is mm -hmm. now being made part of the syllabus. It's yes, now being God. made a subject. What benefits do you expect students to gain from that? That 
drama is an avenue that we can um that children can be employed young people can be employed i am one of the few um i know where well, there are a few of us right now a couple actually is growing that i'm making we're making a living from this field of drama you know i um i have my i always tell the students i i have my own car i pay my own rent i um i buy my own stuff i don't depend on anybody you know it's not like the struggling thing that a lot of parents will see who oh, you're going into acting that that's that's for poor people you know you know i will have to mind you no right. no 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 it's very a uh, very um self-efficient you know i make my um and i'm very happy that that, that the government see to put it on the syllabus as a as a as you know as a subject because long ago you couldn't drama was a hobby you know that a club it was not a, like a, a subject where you go and learn different you know aspects of, of of the craft right and i'm so pleased that that has happened because it's another avenue that young people could go we have utt now going you could go there and do extra and after they could go away you know and and do whatever you want you know in the field this field of theater yes so i think it's um is an excellent choice that the um the government did and i i'm sorry that they took it from the sca syllabus because it was an sca at one point yes um but um yeah because it's you no know, ev everybody want to be a doctor and a lawyer and you know that's not the only you know avenue for for, for young people right. you know, a lot of them want to sing and dance and you know and be out there and it's good that you know the government working hand in hand so how was your talent discovered but not only that when did you realize mm. you had the talent well i used to really um when i was in the house i love carol burnett the, uh, I, I used to watch TV all the time, looking at Carol Burnett sketches. <laughs> I used, to, I think she was the bomb, is the bomb. I they, this last night, they, the other night, they had a special on her. Um, but I used to be in the house kicking up and uh, dancing and kicking up because I started off as a dancer. I was okay. always a dancer, and my mother had enough of the things breaking in the house, so she sent me to <laughs> Torrance Mohammed Arawax Dance Company in San Fernando. Um, originally from San Fernando, and I stayed there dancing for years, 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 dancing, dancing till I was about. 16, 17, and um, there was this audition in Port of Spain, and I had to go to town to audition because there was this play, and this play was happening, and they had um, it was a musical, there was right. dancing, and I thought I was going to to dance audition. Yes. And then the director there said, um, no, he wanted everybody to read, all the dancers to read and sing. He wanted the singers to act and dance. He wanted, you know. And I read, and um, because I did a little thing in school before with um, Lenford Sims and 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 San Fernando East Junior Sec Secondary School. I did my first drama there, but I always thought it was a fluke because I was talking so much in class. My teacher said, go, go, join the drama club. Right. But I always did, never del thought it was serious because I was a dancer. And then um, when I um, when I read and um, Errol Sitahal, who was the director at the time, said, you know, you have a little talent, you know, I want you to act in this play. And that's how it started for me, kind of, you know. You know, I started acting and then I had to come to town to act because I was living in South and, you know, it was real a real struggle. Yes. But that's, um, I had support of my mother then, you know, I had a son, I, had a, I was a young mother myself, you know, so it was a real struggle, but I really was passionate about this, you know, this craft and I, I loved acting, you know, and um, yeah, it's brought me a long way and I've gotten a lot of respect and I've done, you know, I've done um, a good bit. I think, yes. And then closing, what are some final words mm. that you'll give to anyone wanting to enter into this field? Um, this is a field that you can get a lot of self-gratification. You know, I, I've started seeing a lot of people go, I wanted to act, you know, but my mother tell me this. There's no age limit in this right. field. You know, don't feel that I'm too old or, you know, find an, a, a place. There are schools that have necessary arts. We have TTW. There are other places around that have their little drama class. Do it. It's about commitment, young people. This is not a one, 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 one night stand kind of business. A lot of people, they get an ad on TV and, oh, they reach, you know, I go, yes. I'm an actress or I'm an actor. <laughs> no, it doesn't happen so. You know, we want longevity in this business. Um, if you want to be an actor, come out. It is work. It could get paid. It could make a, a living from this craft. Right. Yeah. So with that, I want to say thank you so very much for joining us in the studio. You, you are our wow this week. Wow. Woman of the week. Wow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Penelope Spencer in studio, writer, director, teacher, producer, and casting agent. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All the best thank to you, you and yours for the yes. season from yes. Ojo World. Yes.